Hello Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, cause we're listening for love, okay? So if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining with us. You like tarot? You like to have a good time? You like to know what's gonna happen? Hey, you're in the right place. <laughs> and if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. Now. If you like this and you want some more, you can come on over to Instagram on Tuesdays. We do happy hour, okay, where we ask questions and we get answers, okay? So come join us. Now, the way these reads are going to go, we're going to go into a little bit of a general of what's going on upstairs. We're going to talk about the general oracle, general love, singles, couples, and then all signs. All right, it will be time stamped. So let's jump into this reading and see what's going on on the fourth we have that new moon in leo 12 degrees baby new possibilities some of y'all might be really missing an old pet really thinking about getting a pet or the conversation of animals might be coming up there's also the significance of maybe you finding what your spirit animal is okay now venus also enters into virgo on that day and so we are really paying attention to the finite details of beauty aesthetics um, and our finances. On the fifth, we have no other than Mercury retrograde. It's doing the little reggaeton dance. It's having a good time, okay? Four degrees Virgo, getting the foundation and getting to the details, all right? Mercury retrograde is nothing to fear. It is just time to reassess, readdress, and maybe reconnect. Now, on the 14th, it like shimmies on into Leo, okay? So it's gonna have a good time and then <laughs> it's gonna hang out there for a while. Now, on the 19th, we have the full moon in Aquarius, 27 degrees. It's time for you to find your passions, your joy, your fire. I really feel like this is the month that you're like on fire fire because all of your cards have a lot of red in them. Now, with that being said, you also um, on that day, well, we all have on that day, a very important uh, situation of Jupiter being 17 degrees Gemini. It's going to be squaring Saturn. What is a square? It's just a little bit of a challenge, okay? So we have expansion and then we have structure. So this is about us getting past those things and moving to the next level. Now, on the 21st, very important day because it's what? My 44th birthday, baby. Yes, I'll be turning 44, baby. So if you want to send a present, you can. My Amazon list is in my link tree. Or you could just tell me happy birthday. I would appreciate that so much. All right. Now, with that being said, we also have on the 22nd, Virgo season. Goodbye, Leos. Hello, Virgos. Call up that Virgo and take him out for a drink, okay? On the 28th, Mercury goes direct, 21 degrees Leo. We are still in shadow, so we might still be seeing communication a little bit wonky. Um, our our um, internet issues, phone issues, things like that could be happening, okay? Now, on the 29th, Venus enters into Libra, into your sign, love bug, and you're gonna be looking amazing. Oh. That square that I was talking about, Jupiter and Saturn, the, your message with that is trust the downloads. Also, find find your people, okay? Meet your people. This is about community, feeling supported. I do feel like it's important for you to be around like-minded people, Libra, but there's definitely something about that fiery energy at that time. Maybe you hook up with a Leo. Maybe you guys go and start a business. I'm a Leo. Let's do this, all right? Oh, and to my favorite Libras out there, how y'all doing, babies? I need to call y'all. I haven't talked to Kayona, and I have not talked to Athena in forever. I need to call you. Now, let's get into the rest of your reading real quick. I'm going to put this to the side, and I'm going to look here. Oh, I forgot to tell you what your rune was. So Willow. Okay, so Willow is your rune, and it's the sun, okay? It's like a yes. It's like the universe says, yes, Libra. Yes, yes, yes. It's about balance, good health, happiness. Your color is yellow. Lots of solar plexus energy going on. Pay attention to your digestion and your confidence. Your bird is the eagle, okay? You're flying high, and your herb is mistletoe. Pay attention to your dreams. Mistletoe induces a dream state, okay? So with that, let's finish off this read. Your animal energy is that of the sea turtle, okay? This is about you navigating emotions, getting through there, being joyful and trusting. I really feel like you're putting yourself out there, enjoying the flow of life. 
And your astrological energy is that of Mars. Look at that beautiful um, phallic symbol. <laughs> Anyways, Mars wants you to take control, babe. You need to put things into motion. I'm telling you, there is something about that fiery passion. There could be an Aries Leo or a Sag, or this is just your time to shine. That might be your rising or your moon, but it's time to put those things into action. Now, we have here the Increscent Moon. You've been really working on yourself, really developing, and now you're ready to put yourself out there, right? And this is about whatever it is that you're working on in your day-to-day -day life is going to put you to the next level, okay? Because it's at six on top, and the sixth house is ruled by Virgo. And this energy is about things coming into an alignment for you. And whatever you've been working on, it's going to be beautiful. And if you see here, there's that, like, Crescent Moon. Could be the new moon. So remember, during this time, get those intentions out there. All right, so this is a part of the read. Oh, my other favorite Libra gave me these cards. My beautiful niece. Hey, Steenie. All right. Yes or no question. Yes or no question. This is the real talk tarot. What? Real talk tarot, baby. Overall energy is out of temperance. So let's take it easy. Okay, this is giving me some Missy, Missy Elliott vibes from back of the day. I'm showing my age. But yes, this is about really taking it easy as you move forward, paying attention to what's happening. So for question number one, we have that of the Queen of Swords. We cutting it off, baby. We are taking full control. This is a damn dirty yes. All right. For question number two. This is also a yes for me. It's the Eight of Wands. She's manifesting, she's creating, and she's putting it out there in many forms of communication, okay? Quick communication is coming through for you also. Now, let's get into the general read for you guys. This is for couples and singles, just some general guidance. What do we have? We have here, move on. It's time to move on because they got a confession, okay? And you could be dealing with a long distance relationship or you feel like you guys are very emotionally distant and we are craving intimacy. All right. Intimacy is not just in the in the in the bedroom. OK, intimacy could also be, for example, feeling connected and close to someone. OK, so let's look at move on. What are we moving on from? We're in a new phase of our life, okay? We stopped dealing with somebody who was a effing waste of time, like Snow the product says, okay? Just a waste of time. We changed our mind. We're focused on ourselves. We're good. Confession through a conversation. You're going to receive a phone call. Someone's going to tell you something. Okay, that's, that's going to be interesting. And there's that love call. Somebody from a long distance could be calling you, trying to connect in the intimacy. You feel like twin flames. You feel like you guys, I hate that, I hate that word. Divine partners, divine partners. You're like divine partners, okay? You feel like, oh my God, I met my boo forever, yay. Okay, Libra, let's see what we got for your general message. Let's see what we have going on here. We have here justice. So you're really putting yourself first. You're really looking at things that keep you in balance, okay? Um, you're, this is like surrender to the universe. Okay. And it's really interesting because the justice card, you're in balance. So now you can surrender. Okay. Because that's the next card. It's the 12th card of the majors. Okay. What is your third card? My favorite card. Eight of Wands, okay? So you're there's a lot of confessions, a lot of calls, a lot of people who got their eye on you. They like you, boo. They like you. But you're unenthused about it. It's the Four of Cups. You're just like, I don't know. You're focused on something else. And there's that full moon energy. I do feel like you're going to be fairly emotional towards the end of the month. Pay attention to the 18th, okay? Overall energy, Five of Cups. So yeah, I do think that you're feeling sad about something. We're not really feeling a situation. But you're, you're starting to see that we have to move forward. We have to do something new. And it doesn't matter who's talking to you and it's not the one that you want it to be. I do feel with the moon, I want to get a little bit of clarity on the moon. Oh, that flew out. We have the fool and the emperor. <laughs> There's that Mars energy. Okay, you possibly have an Aries after you, all right? But anyways, in this situation, the fool, Aries Leo Sag really desires you. There's someone who says, look, I want to take a chance and I want to do it with you. What you gonna do? Ew! What you gonna do, Libra? Because they like you, baby. I like you too. I like you a lot. You're super cute. I love it. All right, let's get into our singles. Singles, woo! Messages, 
they'll be back okay expect to hear from someone real soon that mercury energy okay somebody's spinning the block open up your heart Woo, baby and it could be a cancer scorpio pisces coming through and they want commitment Ew. what what this is gonna be drama okay let's see so what is they'll be back? What's going on here? You're going to hear from them soon. Who is this person they're going to hear from soon? What is going on? Cycles, time to heal, progressing. So this could have been a relationship that maybe we didn't end on the best note, but now we're ready. We got hope. They got hope. They're coming back. Many options. Open up your heart. You have a lot of options when it comes to love. Be careful not to get strung along or get caught up in a one-night stand. And Cancer Scorpio Pisces, third party, hooking up on a date, and temptation, seduction, evil, okay. And the commitment card, we have a codependent relationship. So, here's one story I'm already getting. There could be somebody who's coming back, okay? But they're coming back because they've already explored so many options. They've put you in a third party, and they're kind of like codependent with you because life was so much better when they had their Libra. Well, you know what? Shabai. Libra's not no time for that. Libra said, give it to me all or get away, right? Or whatever. Maybe you like it. I don't know. It's your choice, right? It's your life. It's free will. Let's see. Woo! Libra, you're just like talking right out the box. You're very protective of your energy right now with the seven of wands. Like you're just like, nope. Look at that solar plexus. Some of you might be finding out some digestion issues, okay? Protection is key. Protection is key. We got to protect ourselves. We're going to we're going to love ourselves. We got the Queen of Cups in the center. We're manifesting. We're sitting in our emotions. We're doing well. There's that eight of wands. I'm telling you, there is going to be so much conversation. <laughs> Mainly sticky conversations. OK. We are releasing the King of Swords. And we are in our head about it. Hmm. Because we have a divine pair with the king of cups i'm telling you i'm telling you there is a divine pair coming through so let's break this down i do feel like you're very protective of your communication this could even be your energy right here like you're trying to let go of that um chip on your shoulder that you're carrying because you have to protect your energy so much why are we at the seven of wands at the beginning of the month the magician we cut something off we're taking control with the knight and the eight of wands again. We're taking control of communications. We're also not communicating with people who make us feel less than. There is a strong Aries presence here, okay? Maybe it's your rising. So what does the queen of cups want them to know? The world. If you don't treat me like I'm everything, then I am your nothing. How about that, okay? I don't care what you promise. I don't care what you're talking about. Two of wands. You better, you better work, okay? You better put it in or I'm going to start over. And there's something about the 20th. And there's something about seeing 222, two, two, okay? So what is a lot of this communication about coming in for Libra? We have the Seven of Pentacles. I want to build with you. I want to create with you. I want something beautiful. There's that Emperor, okay? There's that Mars energy again. And this Emperor, like, look, there's that symbol. It's only going to begin to real good this month, Okay? Don't, don't, don't hate me, y'all. I just like, I like looking at the pictures. Anyways, but I feel like this person could be from your past, okay? This person could be from your past, this Aries, like, energy. And they're, like, watching you be happy. And you're just like, I don't know if I want to go back to that. What does the King of Swords want them to know? The Ten of Swords. Someone's very hurt about seeing you with someone else, Knight of Pentacles, because they moved too slow and they missed the bedroom, okay? They missed the acrobatic activities in the bedroom with you because you're like hella good at it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you are. Mm-hmm. Libra, I see you. And they know you're both hurting from the situation, damage, and they're daydreaming. Their name could start with a D. Or they want to give you the D, okay? And they miss the hell out of you. They do miss you, baby. They do miss you. And I do think they play with your mind a little bit because they know how to, um, they know how to get to you. There's that crow. There's that conversation, okay? Five of swords. What do you have for us? The knave of swords. A very immature energy going on here. Knight of wands. Oh, no. This is someone who comes in quick 
and wants to leave quick. They get what they want, they gotta go. They get what they want, they wanna go. There's also three knights in your read, so if this is someone that you have heated conversations with, leave, okay? No arguing. Got a lot of Mars energy. And you're gonna cut them off like the Queen of Swords. So we have the Queen and the King of Swords and the Queen and the King of Cups. So I think that you're going to be cutting off a very immature energy, a very immature kind of, I just want what I want. And you're like, no, you can't have it. King of Cups says, I want to get married. I want to have a, I want to have a relationship with you, the Four of Wands. But we have the Five of Swords and the Three of Wands. I'm going to say, you might, you might meet someone who's a really good person for you. And then you're tempted by something that creeps up, right? Because that does happen. Like, right when we're in between, like, I really met this really cool person. And I like this person. But, you know, we're not really committed. Um... The, there's a lot of eight of wands energy your phone is going to be lit okay your phone is going to be lit be very aware of that there's a lot of energy coming in for you there okay so what does this person from the past want to oh, let's see clues about this person from the past clues gossip you're going to hear something okay i'm afraid what people will think you're about to get a revelation and they neglected you when they had you okay it's like they they like I didn't know what it had until it was gone. Okay, whatever, bye. <laughs> so I've been manifesting you. So if you've been, they've been dreaming about you or you've been dreaming about them, it's like y'all's energy is connected. They fantasize about you. I'm scared you will reject me because they neglected you. I want to reach out but don't know how. I know that we have a soul contact, connection, contact, connection. And I don't know how to handle my emotions right now and overall energy. I should have fought for you. So this person possibly put you in a third party situation. They neglected you. They have not really talked to you. You're moving on. You're moving forward. But I have a feeling that you're going to hear from them. And you're going to hear from them very, very soon. Okay? Especially with all this Mercury retrograde energy, the squares going on, and all kinds of other stuff that I probably have not talked about. So... This new person, this divine partner that wants to come out for you, I'm going to put divine partner. Let's see. What, what do they look like? What do they look like? We got the tree. We got colored eyes, green or hazel eyes. I also have maybe they work in the health profession, okay? Um, healthy, tall, Capricorn energy. Then we have tall again right here with the tower, another Capricorn energy. This is someone who, um, very flat chested if they're male, okay? And like they're just very tall. They could work in the government or work at the bank. There's like something about a building, a very important building. Gray hair, possibly. Then we have Taurus energy, feminine. And we have the writer, okay, this is Gemini energy, nice thigh, save lives, okay, young, fit, athletic, yeah, we want some more, okay, bring it over here, overall, we have the clouds, okay, so this person could have gray hair, two-tone hair, um, is that Libra or Capricorn, I can't remember, that is Pisces, I was completely off, green or blue eyes, so there's something about the colored eyes, okay, colored eyes, tall, athletic, Give me clues on this individual. Give me clues. Let's see here. There's something about a tattoo. They also love nature, okay? <laughs> this person likes to um, talk about stuff like that, okay? They And they like to show you, okay? This person is also very physical. There's that sun, okay? That sunny energy, very sweet, like, personality, and then the writer says, there, look, there's a lot of communication, a lot of communication, a lot of, hey, what are you doing? What's going on? Can we connect? There's something about summertime and they get very, very nervous around you. OK, they're just like, oh, my gosh, anxious. They just can't get enough of you. I wouldn't be able to either, Libra. You're like so attractive. Anyways. This is where we're going to jump into our beautiful couples. OK, let's get into couples. Well, let me give you some guidance. What are some things they can work on this month moving forward with this relationship? Focus on what you view as a healthy and happy relationship. Maybe redefine that, especially around the 14th. Okay, I'm going to write that date down. And we, I told you, run. If they start raising their voice, you just start moving them feet, okay? Because we're not giving our heart to just anybody, all right? No. And what you prayed for, you're going to get, all righty? 
Okay, let's see here. We're going to go into our beautiful couples. These are people who know they're together. They've been on dates. They know each other's names and not just up here. Okay. Okay, first card, confession. Someone got something to tell you, boo. Okay, we got honeymoon. We could be going to a wedding. We could also be um, really feeling like something within a relationship and health issues could be at hand. Overall, we need to communicate, friend. We need to talk about it, be about it, okay? I always found it very interesting, like, how we're so willing to share ourselves physically with someone, but emotionally, oh, hell no. Like, what's, what's wrong with us, okay? So get very grounded because the confession that's coming in can rock your world, okay? Honeymoon. <sighs> Don't let people get in the, in the middle of your relationship, okay? A lot of teasing, a lot of attraction. And someone is hiding their true feelings. Uh, they could have a gaslighting personality, removing the mask. And there is some communication about a separation that's going on, sadness, missing you. <sighs> okay, let's see here, Libra. What's going on with my beautiful couples, my beautiful Librans? What is Libra's person's story? Whoops, on my leg, it feels funny. Libra's person's story. They are justice. Okay, so this individual wants something to be fair. There's also something about marriage. There's, like, they want you to, I almost want to say that they want you to act married, but they're out there, like, for the streets. Anyways, Page of Pentacles. Can we start over? Can we start fresh? Like, can we just start over? Could even be something with a child. These two came out together. We're going to take it. We have the star in the wheel. For me, Libra, this makes me feel like you're very well known. Like maybe you're out in the public eye. This is also about you moving forward because you've healed so much. You've healed and you see your worth. And I also feel like with the wheel, this person had more power over you in the past, but they don't got that power now. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Shabai. So this person does want to get married or they're talking about married or, or maybe they, maybe you are married. I don't know. Justice, Four of Wands, that screams marriage for me. The Page of Swords is what comes between you guys. This could be children, but I have two pages in your read, so we're going to have to see what's this information that's coming out. And then we end the month just needing a damn dirty break. I know we need a break from this shit. Okay, Nine of Cups. All your broken promises, promises. <laughs> we have, what is going on, Libra? What is going on here? Okay, let's see here. So their story is justice. I do believe they want to act like they've been nothing but good to you. They're super fair, prudent. Look, I don't do that kind of stuff, Libra. I'm not like you. Like, what? Five of Cups. They're trying to get over something from the past. Five of Wands. Okay. To the Queen of Swords. They know you're not playing, baby. You're not playing. Five, 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 baby. You are not playing. Can I say it again? Because you changed. You're like, you know what? You used to come in the past and you would see me with somebody and then I would cut him off and then you would ghost me and I'd be just stuck here looking at you. No. What is this page about? The page of pentacles. What's this page of pentacles about? What's something new and fresh? There's the door. There's the door, bitch. Okay. Ten of Wands. We are done carrying a burden that is not ours to carry anymore. They know that you've healed, that you've evolved. Some of y'all are very well known on social media. There's that snake again. Okay. Knight of Cups. So there's an offer. There's an offer coming in. The Knave of Swords is a little pre... Um, it's like a little immature offer, but... You're like, no, you got the Ten of Cups. You also have a job offer coming in, or it's a good time to look for a job in media and marketing. Interesting. Four of Wands. They want to build with you. What does this Page of Swords want them to know? Queen of Wands. Hierophant. Eight of Pentacles. And the Devil. Okay. This is not for everybody. This is not for everybody, okay? There is some of y'all that are going to find out that somebody came back and you guys have been together and then you're going to find out that they have like a whole nother life or a whole nother situation going on. Then there's others that you could be dealing with a baby mama, okay? The thing is, with this Eight of Pentacles, we've got to engage in conversations and we have to start asking the right things, right? Like we can't just be, oh, this is great, this is wonderful, you know, because this is not looking very healthy, 
You feel very unappreciated, unworthy, and there's a soul tie between you guys. You always feel connected to them, and they know they messed up. They know they messed up. They know that there's something going on, and they don't know how to make it right, okay? But they, do they love you? Yes. Are they, are they doing it right? No, nah, they're not. <laughs> no. So this, if this is not your story, don't worry about it. Yeah, just fast forward to the other word. Four of Swords with the Eight of Cups, okay? We're tired of it. Like, go somewhere with that mierda. I'm out. The chariot, okay? I'm out. I am not being in this, this Five of Pentacles life with you. Like, no, I'm the Nine of Cups. Five of Swords, betrayal. Here's the Queen of Cups. And here's the Eight of Wands. And then here's the star again. Friend, you have healed so much. You have grown. You've developed. Do I feel like there's another energy? Yes. I don't know whether it's a family, a friend, a third party, or it's something that keeps getting in the way of this connection. Um, when we feel unworthy and unappreciated and there's a lot of like energy of the separation, we're not communicating anymore, we have to start kind of paying attention to what is the common denominator, okay? Now, if you're dealing with an individual whose communication style is no bueno, well then, if we know that, then why are we still in it, okay? Now, we always have our other reasons, like, oh, we have children together, we have this going on, we have that. But I want you to sit here and really think about what it is that you truly want, need, and desire. You deserve to be very happy. Now, this cactus right here is not very friendly and it's going to poke you, okay? Yes, they're uncertain about the future. Yes, they're afraid. They don't know. They want you to compromise. They want you to forgive. They want to work it out. But not everything can be worked out the way someone wants it to be, right? So we have two pages here. What is the message of the two pages? What is this information that could be coming through? We have something that's over. We have the grave, the mice, a lot of anxiety, and about our stability, okay? And we're going to hear about it from a friend, possibly an Aquarius, okay? Possibly. So there is an ending to the anxiety of our stability. We have got to really start asking those hard questions. And when I see the mouse by the house, I feel like there is a sneaky snake around, okay? So keep your eyes open. Um, pay attention to the signs and the synchronicities. And always trust your intuition. Alrighty? Okay, so let's get into guidance for you, love bug. Oh no, I want to close this read. Close this read. What's something they can, what are some clues for them for this year, this year, this month in love? Okay. Okay. <laughs> we're at a crossroad, so we won't be lonely. We know we need to make a decision to end something. We've got to be very stable in it. We've got to make this choice. And it's going to be quick, okay? It's going to be quick. And it's going to be a quick change of our luck. But we're nervous about it, okay? And I do think, what is this? What is the whip about? Something that has been blocking you about a new beginning, even with children. And it could, uh, something about a new beginning and a new building, a new job. It's been a block, but your luck is going to change with that, okay? It's an overbearing situation. But you're going to be stable. And I do believe that um, you could possibly be with a man who wants to really like set some rules down in the house. Okay. Or that's you trying to set the rules down. Okay. Let's get into your oracle read. I know my reads are very long, guys. But you could just watch the timestamps. Or you can just watch them when you get ready for work. That's what I do. I watch like, like really long videos. I enjoy them. Anyways. We got money. We got the cornucopia. We got some money coming in. The 11th is going to be important for you. There's a lot of this 1111 energy with you. I'm going to write your dates down. Okay. You're working on your heart chakra with Archangel Raphael. Very focused on the family. Okay. We're moving forward. Trust your intuition when it comes to your abundance. We are healing our broken heart with the fourth chakra. And we are getting rid of people who want to attach to our family, friends, and our lifestyle. Yeah, bye. And we're putting that into action. Okay, we're not dealing with that anymore. We're not going to deal with it. Okay, lucky dates for you are going to be the 4th, the 5th, the 6th, the 8th, 11th, 14th, 18th, 22, and the number 
five 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 your color is yellow we're working with the solar plexus all right we're not in balance and we're being very protective and we're not even sharing what's not in balance okay so how can they change i mean they can't read your mind libra come on all right, let's see what we got going on here. We are using the Babylonian Tarot. This is the first deck that I used to start learning to read cards. And um, I never used the Rider weight. I probably should, or I probably said it wrong. I probably should have used it. But um, I learned with these cards, and I absolutely love these cards. They're my favorite deck. One more, one more. Yep, that's it. Okay. The seventh could be important. Oh, my goodness. That first week, five, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Libra, you feel backstabbed and betrayed, nine of swords, and Aries is like, mm -hmm, I did that. We don't have no foundation, we don't feel secure, we don't feel like something's working, um, but we're working in the bedroom. So the tenth could be important. You are holding it down with the queen of swords, and Taurus um, feels disillusioned with the three of cups. They have more options, and we've also said some really rude words to each other, and there's some financial issues. The fourth could be important. You don't feel complete. You don't feel like this is for you with the Ten of Cups reversed. And Gemini wants to have sex. And lots of it. They want to talk, too. Yeah, they're in their, they're in their sexy talk, okay? You might be getting some X-rated messages from them, okay? The fourth could be important. Here you are. You feel like you are finding information out. You're not okay with it. Cancer says, let's get married. Let's have a relationship. And I think we need to talk about it. I feel like this comes out of nowhere for you. You're like, what the hell, Cancer? Like, are you serious? Like... Are you on the same date? Sometimes I wonder, am I on the same date with you? Because I didn't I didn't even recognize any of those things. Like, <laughs> who was I with? Anyways, the second is important. You feel a little bit vulnerable, like you've overexposed yourself. And Leo says, can we start fresh? I want to do this with you. I pick you. Let's go on an adventure. Solution is seven of wands. Oh, this is you having the courage to go for it. Okay, the second could be important. You're making a major life decision. You feel like things are getting better, but you know you got to cut something off. And Virgo is out of love. The solution is stop fighting with each other, okay? <laughs> Lucky day is the tenth. We're not talking with the Eight of Wands. We're not even having sex, okay? We're just done. And Libra, the other Libra is like, I'm single too, boo, so what's up, you know? Too many red flags, and I think you found out they went on a trip and you didn't like it, Okay. The second could be important, or vice versa. Here you are as the Six of Cups. You're reminiscing. You're thinking about that beautiful, sexy Scorpio. And they like, if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Okay, they're being real strict about it. The solution is coming together and sharing your dreams and joys. This is Justana. And she has on her head, um, she was has on her head. She has grapes on her head because she's, she's very rich. But she's also a dream interpreter. Y'all got to talk about your dreams together, okay? I get very past life. Lovers. I know, very random. Okay, the ninth is important. Here you are as the tree of life. You are temperance. You're a little take it easy. And Sagittarius is the, the sun. They're like, that's mine. That's mine. But there's no equal give and take, okay? So Sag is all about themselves, but they like, yes, we going for it. 16. Here you are as the emperor. You're trying to move forward and Capricorn is not budging. They're not talking to you and we're out of love. And you're actually going the other way. You're like, it's my way or the highway. And they're like, well, I don't even want to talk to you. And you're like, all right, well, whatever. Bye. Fifth could be important. We're not in love anymore. We're very, we feel very betrayed. The lovers reverse. Aquarius wants to get married. <laughs> they're not reading the room. Like I said, are we on the same date? Okay, they want to work on it. They want to work on it, even though they feel betrayed or you feel betrayed. The tenth could be important. Here we are at the four of swords. You're trying to heal. And Pisces says, can we have a family? Can we do this? I don't know. The solution is magic, right? The queen of wands. This is about putting your wants, needs, and desires and passions on the forefront. And the 14th could be important. So that's what I have for you, my beautiful Libra. I hope you have a beautiful month. Be sure to come hang out with me on Instagram. Don't forget my birthday. And let's get back together and talk about career and finance. Take care.